so the Quinn Goldberg family settles down in what Joe describes as a soulless, wealthy suburb outside San Francisco, Madre Linda. Of course, this fake place is Spanish for cute mom, SMH. It's a half hour from a condo owned by grandma, Glamma, Eu, Dottie. Nothing in poor Joe's life is going the way he dreamed it would. He has a dumb son instead of a sacred daughter, his soulmate has killed multiple people with her bare hands, that's a whole pots and kettles situation to unpack another day. Semicolon and also, he is realizing now that he never actually gave much thought to what happens after the boy meets the girl. He certainly did not think it would involve having a boy baby named Henry Forty, as in Forty, the twin who ID Ed up and Joe as full on psychopaths and was killed by the cops for his troubles. Also, for someone obsessed with classic literature who feels suffocated by the white picket fence purgatory in which he finds himself, you'd think Joe would spend a little less time with Fitzgerald and more time with Cheever, no? I hope this does not offend the young parents in our readership, but I have to say the first two-thirds of this episode are a real struggle for me. I get that any semi-accurate portrayal of new parenthood has to show how boring and exhausting it is, but depictions of drudgery don't make for thrilling television. 